Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Soji Gray and welcome back to the channel. If this is the first time you are here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and hit the bell icon as well so that anytime a new video is released, you're going to be updated instantly. We're already in the month of May and I'll be bringing you the best Mac apps for the month of May in this video. Without talking so much, let's jump right into it. <music> So the first app I want to talk about is Quickshade. I'm someone who likes to browse the web or watch some movies on my laptop in the evening before I go to bed. But what happens is that in the evening, the screen of the MacBook gets so bright, even when you reduce it to the last brightness level, and it gets so uncomfortable. I was looking for an app that could help me lower the brightness of the MacBook to even a lower degree. Getting one was very difficult to be honest, but fortunately I was able to get Quick Shade from the Mac App Store. And I must say Quick Shade has been a lifesaver. With Quick Shade, it can take the brightness to an even lower degree on the MacBook and it makes it so comfortable to watch content or consume content on the MacBook. So this app basically lives in your menu bar and if you do want to increase or reduce brightness, you just have to click the menu bar, the icon in the menu bar and you can drag um, the slider to reduce or increase the brightness to the level that is comfortable with your eyes. And I mean, this app is free to download. I love how simple and easy it works and I'd recommend it to anyone. Just try it for once and I'm, I'm, I'm sure you're not going to regret it at all. Now let's move to the second app. The second app I want to talk about is SlidePad. SlidePad is a launch pad for web applications and it lives on the sides of your MacBook screen. If you want to summon it, all you need to do is just send the cursor to the side of the screen and you're going to have the whole interface come to life. And it gives you a lot of web applications and it actually groups them in different um, segments. So you have productivity, messaging, um, apps from Microsoft, Apple, Google, and you have all these other um, tools and video social networking apps that you can also have access to I like that it's so easy to add apps and log into them and I usually use my Google Apps with the slide pad and it's very easy because it does not abstract any view if I want to summon it I just go to the side of the screen and it pops up and if I'm done using it I just tap on an empty space on the MacBook screen and it just disappears and I just love the ease of use and how intuitive the user interface is. So to get SlidePad, you'd have to pay $9.99 US dollars. But the good thing is that they give you a 30 day free trial. So you can use it within that period to see whether this is an app you would actually want to download and you can make the decision to get it permanently. So I, I I'd recommend you try it out because it's free for 30 days. And if you don't like it, if you don't think it's something you'd want to use, you can uninstall it. Let's move to the third app. So the third app I want to talk about is Do. Do is a reminder app that looks very good and is also very functional as well. If you want to add reminders, it's so easy. You can actually click the plus sign and you can type in a new reminder. If you want to add some notes or if you want to add a checklist, you can do so. And you can also add a date. And once you're done saving, it gives you this really nice user interface. You can see your reminder and you can see a calendar by the side, which I feel is a good addition. Also, if you don't want it as an individual app to you know, open as a window on your MacBook, you can also let it live in the menu bar. So it lives in the menu bar and you just summon it when you want or not. And I just like the user interface. As I said, the colors are amazing. This app goes for $9.99 US dollars. And if you are big on reminders, I think this is an app you should consider. Let's move on to the fourth app. Personally, I'm not a big fan of Apple's Bluetooth user interface in the menu bar. I feel it's, it's neat work. It's not as good as other apps in Mac OS, but I love what Juice has been able to do with Bluetooth. They give you this really nice user interface that displays all your Bluetooth devices that have actually connected to the MacBook currently, and it looks very, very good. And it gives you this really nice user interface. You can just see what is connected and what is not. Also, it has a light and dark theme. So if you want to switch, or even if you switch um, dark theme on your MacBook, it automatically switches with 
the Juice app. And I like the fact that if you have supported devices like the Apple AirPods or the Magic Mouse, you'll be able to see your remaining battery capacity through the Juice app, which is also a good thing. Generally, this is a very simple app, but at the same time, very useful. Uh, if you want to get it, it's 5.99 um, to get it, but I think it's totally worth it. If it's something you'd want to, you know, download, everything is going to be linked in the description section. So make sure to head there to download it. Now let's move to the last app. So the fifth and last app is called Clarity Wallpaper. Now Clarity Wallpaper is an amazing wallpaper app. They give you amazing, good looking, high definition wallpapers. The only caveat to those is that if you want to have access to all the wallpapers, you'd have to pay 4.99 USD a year. But in my opinion, you are good with the free wallpapers because I mean like you have access to a lot of free wallpapers that look good as well. Another thing is that it has this gradient function. So if you want to use gradient colors as wallpapers, you have that option here and it gives you different types of gradients. There are some gradients that uh, are diagonal. There are some that are from side to side and there are some that are from top to bottom. So depending on the one you like, you can, you know, scan through a number of colors and choose any to become your wallpaper. And I must say this app is very useful in my opinion just because of the wallpaper part because i'm someone who loves gradient wallpapers and getting a number of them for free here is just a good thing and i mean if you don't even want gradient wallpapers and you want like block colored wallpapers that just solid color wallpapers you can also get that here and i mean couple that with having free nice wallpapers i think this um, app is a definite app to download so we've come to the end of this month's episode of the best Mac apps of the month. Let me know what you think about the apps I did talk about down in the comment section below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon by it so that anytime a new video is released, you're going to be updated instantly. I go by the name Soji Gray and I'll catch you in another one. Peace out.